गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द बायोलॉजी क्लास दिस वीडियो इज द कॉन्टिन्यूशन वीडियोज ऑफ आर न्यूट्रिशन टॉपिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन वॉट इज मीन बाय न्यूट्रिशन न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स वॉट स्टूडेंट मीन्स सप्लाय ऑफ द एसेंशियल ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक केमिकल टू द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एज द न्यूट्रिशन विच वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन देअर आर अ सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ द न्यूट्रिय इज रिक्वायर्ड आर बॉडी कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड फैट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट दैट द अनदर न्यूट्रिय लाइक प्रोटीन विटामिन मिनरल्स एंड वॉटर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी लेट एस मूव टूवर्ड्स द टू डेज वीडियो protein protein is the large chemical molecules protein is also very important you know that protein is the body building material because why we grow we repair and repair our body with the help of protein uh, in the previous video i told you the carbohydrate and fats are energy giving nutrient and protein is the body building material protein is also contain carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen nitrogen is the most essential element in the protein it is also contains sulfur and phosphorus but nitrogen is very important it is very essential element in the protein means see student we take a food we take a complex food means we take a protein in the complex form in our digestive system it digest the complex food and convert into the simple food means we take the protein as a complex food our digestive system is digest it and convert the protein into the amino acid it is the simplest form of the protein means the amino acid is the smallest unit of protein protein provide i told you protein is the body building material why because the protein provide the chemical material for the growth and repair the body of the cell and tissue so protein is called as the body building material and where do we get the protein student we get the protein from the meat fat muscles fish eggs milk cheese nut beans and peas these are the rich protein source of the food so we take this food because we need the protein for our growth for our development okay means protein is very important for us so if there is a deficiency of protein in our diet we suffer some diseases we see the protein deficiency the protein deficiency are two important diseases is the koshiyakar koshiyakar kosher kar and marasmus these two diseases is leads to deficiency of protein one by one we see both the disease see student first we see kosher kar kosher kar it is the protein deficiency diseases usually affected the young children young children means the children affected from age 1 to 5 means the small children the age 1 to 5 which are affected by the deficiency of protein kosher kar let us see some symptoms of the kosher kar see student we we have we will see we are see the picture the the children are suffering from the kosher kar kosher kar means this disease is caused ye disease kaise hota hai beta the disease is caused when the mother stop the breast feeding their babies at the early age so and the children are given a diet poor protein agar bacche means the mother is not able to feed the child so the child is not getting proper quantity of the protein so the poor quantity of protein the children are facing to the kosher kar there have given some symptoms of the kosher kar kosher kar samajh mein aa gaya beta the disease is suffering the child the age in between 1 to 5 year the diseases is leads to the 
deficiency of protein and most of the common the cause when the mother is not able to feeding the babies of early age the children are not getting the proper quantity of protein so the children are affected by the kosher curve they have given some symptoms one by one we will see protruding producing the belly means see look at this picture uh, see the belly is a protruding means bahar aayi hai beta belly this is called as the producing producing it is also called as protruding out the belly protruding out means jo when we navel se wo thodi si bahar aa jati hai it is called as the producing and protruding of the belly the hair become a brownish hair become a brownish the skin become a dark and scaly dark skin ho jati hai scale like structures appear on the skin the stunted growth ग्रोथ नहीं होती बेटा बिकॉज आई यू आई टोल्ड यू द प्रोटीन इज लीड्स टू द ग्रोथ बट इफ द चाइल्ड इज नॉट गेटिंग द प्रॉपर अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन द चाइल्ड इज नॉट ग्रोइंग प्रॉपरली सो द ग्रोथ इज स्टंटेड अंडर द वेट डेवलपमेंट ही नहीं होंगी बॉडी की तो हाउ इट ग्रो प्रॉपरली द वेट इज वेरी लेस सॉलोइंग द लेग्स मी जो स्वेलिंग हो जाती है बेटा स्वेलिंग आ जाती है लेग्स पे द लॉस ऑफ एपेटाइट कुछ भी खाया तो पचता नहीं मीन्स द एपेटाइट मीन्स द डाइट उसकी कम हो जाती है एनीमिया यू नो दैट इफ द चिल्ड्रंस आर नॉट गेटिंग प्रॉपरली आयन आयन इज द आयन फॉर फॉर्मिंग द हीमोग्लोबिन अगर हीमोग्लोबिन ही नहीं होगा द चिल्ड्रंस आर लीड्स टू द एनीमिया ओके एंड मेंटल रिटार्डनेस मीन्स द चिल्ड्रन इज नॉट एबल टू प्रॉपर थिंकिंग इट इज नॉट गेटिंग प्रॉपरली वॉट एवर डूइंग इन आर सराउंडिंग and reduce the resistance means jo immunity power hai beta wo kam ho jati hai means the children are affected in the small back diseases causing bacteria means their wbc is not strong they are not able to fight the diseases causing bacteria understood means the child is not able to resist the diseases what is student this is the symptoms of the kosher curve then how we control the this disease and how we treat the children suffering from the kosher curve we should give them the protein rich diet like pulses milk eggs fish and meat means we are providing the protein re- protein rich food to the child it will <coughs> it will free from the kosher curve what it student what is the kosher curve what is the symptoms of kosher curve and how do we control we are control the disease to treat the children are suffering from kosher kar we should given them protein rich protein rich diet next disease is the marasmus marasmus it is also next is the marasmus this is the kosher kar deficiency child and this is the marasmus deficiency child marasmus it is also deficiency by the it is also deficiency due to the lack of carbon carbohydrates fat and protein in the diet and this disease is occur in the very small child like uh, one month to one year means it affect the infants up to one year of the age it is due to the deficiency of carbohydrate food protein in diet means the children are not getting the food pro- food properly it is not getting the balanced diet properly in the early age the children are suffering from the marasmus let us see some symptoms of the marasmus the less weight because the children are not getting the proper food degeneration resulting very weak body as forming the muscle skin and bones only means see look at the picture the children are very under the weight there is no muscle are form in the body the body is only bony bone the skin become very loosely folded skin is not tighty it is very loose because there have no muscles got it the face become a thin and the thickening thinning of the limbs means hind limbs fore limbs are very thin because there is no muscles only bones are there and the face become a thin the children are retarded physically 
एंड मेंटली ग्रोथ मीन्स उसकी फिजिकली ही फिजिकली भी ग्रोथ नहीं होती बेटा और मेंटली भी ग्रोथ नहीं होती गॉट इट एंड रिप्स एपियर प्रोमिनेंट रिप्स एपियर प्रोमिनेंट बिकॉज देयर इज नो मसल्स इन द बॉडी सो द रिप्स आर लुकिंग प्रोमिनेंटली अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट वॉट इज द मैरासमस मैरासमस इट इज द डिसीज विच अफेक्टेड इन्फेंट अप टू द वन ईयर एज इट इज ड्यू टू द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन्स फैट इन द डाइट नो एडिमा मीन्स वी हैव सीन द क्वेश्चर कर्स हैव एडिमा एडिमा मीन्स द स्वेलिंग ऑन द फेस लेग्स बट देर इज नो एडिमा मीन्स देर इज नो स्वेलिंग नो वॉटर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द स्किन एंड हाउ डू वी ट्रीट द चाइल्ड इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम मैरासमस वी शुड गिव द डाइट ऑफ रिच प्रोटीन एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट मीन्स वी हैव नाउ वी हैव सीन द थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूट्रियस विच इज रिक्वायर्ड आवर बॉडी डेवलपमेंट बट सम न्यूट्रियट लाइक मिनरल्स वैटामिन्स वॉटर इट इज इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस द मिनरल्स एंड वैटामिन्स इन आवर डाइट इज वेरी स्मॉल क्वांटिटी बट इट इज वेरी इशेंशियल टू कीप अस हेल्थी लेट अस सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मिनरल्स यू नो दैट द मिनरल्स इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस these minerals are very essential to us to provide the healthy body let us see iodine you know that iodine is very important nutrient it is essential for formation of thyroxine hormones which is secret means you know that in the previous classes endocrine system we have seen thyroid gland it is the one kind of the endocrine gland which control our all metabolic reactions in our body and these gland are secrete the hormone thyroxine hormone and these hormones is secreted by thyroid glands are its important minerals iodine is required for the thyroid gland to secretion of thyroxine got it iodine kyun important hai beta hamare diet mein kyunki iski help se hamari thyroid gland proper amount mein thyroxine hormone secrete karti hai and thyroxine hormones are maintains our all metabolic reactions in our body but if in our diet is a deficiency of the iodine we leads to the goiter goiter is the one kind of the disease agar hamare diet mein iodine nahi hunga beta to we are suffering from the goiter disease and what is the rich source of iodine salt table salt nacl water fish seafood green leafy vegetable iodized common salt nacl tata namak it is required for the iodine next minerals iron iron is very important because iron for forming the hemoglobin hamari body mein jo bhi hemoglobin ka formation hota hai it is the main source of iron iron is very important for the formation if in our body is not getting the iron properly we leads to the anemia got it and what is the rich source of iron meat eggs whole meals bread bajra ragi apple green vegetable these are the rich source of iron next important minerals is the calcium you know that calcium is very important without calcium we are not become a strong because the calciums are building of bones and teeth our bones is very strong our teeth are very strong means why it become a strong because we it get the calcium and phosphorus in proper quantity so our bones and teeth are strong got it and calcium is also help to the blood clotting in the higher classes you will study about that the clotting of blood in coagulation process means protein कैल सॉरी कैल्शियम इम्पॉर्टेंट है बेटा क्लोटिंग ऑफ द ब्लड जब हमारी स्किन कट हो जाती है ब्लड बाहर आ जाता है आफ्टर फ्यू मिनिट्स द ब्लड बिकम अ थिक दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द को एगुलेशन इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द क्लोटिंग ऑफ ब्लड ड्यू टू द प्लेटलेट्स द ब्लड इज क्लोटिंग एंड द इट रिक्वायर्ड द कैल्शियम मिनरल्स वॉट इट इट ऑल्सो असोसिएटेड विद द नर इम्पल्सेस इन द मिसल एंड कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द मसल got it calcium is very calcium and phosphorus is very important minerals to our 
body phosphorus is also it is not given phosphorus but phosphorus is also very important because why phosphorus is a required in various chemical process in the production of chemical energy like a atp got it in the photosynthesis i told you adp addition of phosphorus and form the atp adenosine triphosphate milk cheese eggs green vegetable whole grains and cereals are the rich source of calcium next is the potassium potassium and sodium potassium and sodium it is also important minerals which is required for the cell cell permeability especially in the nerve cell you know that in the nervous system we have seen the nerve cells are send the impulses from body to the brain and send the message from brain to the body and these these impulses this contraction and this transmission of the impulses are required the minerals of potassium and sodium these minerals are especially in the nerve cell got it in the higher classes you will study about the transmission of the nerve impulses in our body transmission of nerve impulses is required potassium and sodium the banana dates potatoes spinach orange and beans are the rich source of potassium and sodium understood student in our textbook also have given a chart there are uh, so many types of the nutrient so many types of the minerals you have seen the chart but in the video i taught you the important minerals in our syllabus got it student next topic is the vitamins you know that minerals is very important in our diet as well as vitamins is also very important in our diet it we required the minerals in very small amount but which help maintain the healthy body the vitamins act as a catalyst enzymes it help to many chemical reactions in our body see students there are two types of the vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins means the vitamins which is soluble in the fat and these we can be stored in the body in the long period of time vitamin a vitamin d vitamin b and vitamin k these are the fat soluble vitamins means ye vitamins fat mein soluble hote and these vitamins we can store in our body for a long time but vitamin c and vitamin b b it contain the many b complex vitamin b1 b2 b3 these are the water soluble vitamins and these vitamins cannot be stored in the long period of time got it student is vitamins is very important it require the very less amount in our body vitamins is work as a catalyst catalyst means beta jo reaction mein involve nahi hote but unke presence reaction kaise hoti hai very fast hoti hai let us see one by one each and vitamins vitamin a a is very important because it promote the growth of the body it is also means it is also component of the visual purple in the retinal cell of the eye means it is functioning of the eye in our retina there have a uh, two types of the cell cone cell and rod cell higher classes you will study about that beta now just you keep it in your mind vitamin a is the fat soluble vitamins and deficiency of the vitamin a will leads to the night blindness means we have a poor vision in the dark dim light got it you just keep it in your mind vitamin d it is also help to the body to use the calcium and phosphorus for the form the bones and teeth and if the deficiency of the vitamin d rickets means our bone become a very soft osteoporosis osteoporosis means the condition in the adult the become in the old age the bones become very weak maybe the small accident 
are caught by the old age peoples they become may be occur in the fracture what is is the vitamin d is very important for the for the use to calcium and phosphorus to form the bones and teeth got it student vitamin e is the prevent to the oxidation of the vitamin a vitamin k is also very needed to the normal clotting of the blood got it brain hemorrhage hota hai vitamins kya hota hai clot ho jata hai got it it is required for the vitamin k and the water soluble vitamins vitamin c is also called as the ascorbic acid vitamin c is called also ascorbic acid and these vitamins are promote the functioning of the capillaries wall you know capillaries is the one kind of the blood vessels and the vitamin c is promote the functioning of capillaries if uh, we have a deficiency of vitamin c we are causes the disease scurvy scurvy means kya ho jata hai beta hamare jo gums hai usme bleeding ho jati hai got it there are the two types of the vitamins if you have if you want to detail study about the vitamins you go through our uh, textbook and there have given a chart of the summary of the vitamins sources and function you will go through it and learn it got it student understood and the next important nutrient is the water you know that water is very important for us about 2/3 of our body weight is a uh, water water is the good solvent many things many substance like organic inorganic substance is a uh, soluble in water so the water is good solvent in our body it used to produce the digestive juice it also help to the transportation of digestive food oxygen to whole parts of the body and it is also used to excretion of the soluble waste through by the excretory system understood student and water is also maintain the body temperature next and the last topic of the lesson is the balanced diet i explain diet diet means what whatever to to take a food is called as the diet and balanced diet means what student balanced diet means the diet is one in which contain the all constituent nutrient this is called in proper quantity this is called as the balanced diet and everybody you should take the balanced diet if you should take the balanced diet we should we will keep healthy and live long life and last point of the lesson is the malnutrition malnutrition it is the condition in which person suffer to due to the lack of or deficiency of one and more essential element in the food this is called as the malnutrition malnutrition means beta hamare फूड्स में हमारी जो डाइट है उसमें प्रॉपर क्वांटिटी में न्यूट्रिएंट लॉन्ग टाइम तक नहीं रहे तो वी आर सफरिंग सम डिसीजेस वी आर सफरिंग द कंडीशन इज अ मल न्यूट्रिशन अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट दिस वाज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द लेसन द लेसन इज ओवर इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टीज एनी क्यूरीज रिगार्डिंग द टॉपिक यू विल सेंड द कमेंट थ्रू बाय द कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू स्टूडेंट